So what are you folks doing to celebrate the 20 year anniversary of Tomb Raider? So this year, 2016 marks the 20 year anniversary of Tomb Raider and we have been celebrating all year. We call this the year of the Tomb Raider. Um, and so we have been doing different initiatives uh, to kind of look to the past but also you know, the future of the franchise. We announced a concert series with our original series composer, Nathan McCree. Um, he's doing a concert and an album where he remastered the original three soundtracks from the first three games. It's really cool. We have a lot of fans very excited for that. Uh, we announced a statue series. We are re-releasing the Top Cow comics from the late 90s. I had the huge honor and responsibility of, uh, of writing a 20 year, uh, 20 year history book on Tomb Raider, so 20 years of Tomb Raider. And then it all culminates really with um, the game, Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 year celebration, which is coming out next week and we're really excited about. Awesome. Is there any new features with the 20 year anniversary game? Yeah, so in Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 year celebration, we definitely, again, wanted to find a way to embrace the past, but also to position it within the current reboot universe. And we felt like Croft Manor was the best way to bring that back and to, to bring this nostalgic element back to the franchise. Um, and so in Croft Manor, we have two main pieces of content. We have Blood Ties, which is a very story, adventure driven, um, hour long piece of content. And essentially, you as Lara are exploring Croft Manor trying to find uh, her father's will, which proves that she has the right to ownership over Croft Manor because it's being contested. And so there's no combat, it's all exploration, it's puzzles, it's finding memory bubbles and, and, and letters and learning more about, about her and her history. And that's actually compatible with PlayStation VR, which is really exciting. We've never done VR before as a studio, so we're really excited about that. And then uh, we have Lara's Nightmare, which is actually a replayable uh, mode within that space where basically Croft Manor is taken over by a bunch of zombies. And it's, you know, this warped version of Croft Manor and Lara's Nightmare. And uh, it's replayable because every time you spawn in a different location, the weapon drops are in a different location, the master key is somewhere new, and you have to find these three skulls, and they're all in different locations. You have to destroy them, and then you have a boss fight. So it's really about seeing how quickly you can make your way through it, how, how, you know, what difficulty you're comfortable playing on, using expedition cards to change it up and making your way to the top of the leaderboards. And then in addition to that, we added co-op to endurance mode, which is really exciting. So it's this procedurally generated Siberian wilderness where you can explore forever and you have to monitor your heat and your food intake and try to find relics while surviving against bear attacks. And it's really, it's really intense, but it's super fun to play with friends. Uh, and then we added classic skins um, to the game so you can play the game in a low poly Lara skin which is hilarious and it really showcases how far Lara has come you know seeing this low poly Lara and these beautiful environments from Rise uh, and then we have an extra a new difficulty mode called Extreme Survivor which we have eliminated save points other than between base camps so you have to build a base camp to save uh, and then we also reimagined the Tomb Raider 3 Antarctica jacket as a, as a new outfit for Lara and Rise. We felt that Antarctica and Siberia kind of were a nice fit, so we updated that and reimagined it. So that was a lot, but that's because the game has a lot. So on, on the, the PS4 version of Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 Year Celebration, you get all of that, you get all of the past DLC and everything in one package. Awesome. Now, how does Tomb Raider utilize the PlayStation VR? Yeah, so this, like I said, is our first our first foray into VR as a studio. It was really exciting. Um, you get to basically see through Lara's eyes as you explore the manor. And we have two different play modes. We have comfort mode and we have free mode. Uh, in, in free mode, it's as you expect. You could push on the sticks and you can move through the environment. And then we have comfort mode for people like me <laughs> who gets extremely motion sick. And so comfort mode is actually uh, it's great for people who are uninitiated into VR. And it's a great first step. But essentially, uh, you can still move around in your environment physically. Like you can duck down and look at, you know, look at low objects on, on the ladders or shelves or so on. Um, but then for going longer distances, you transport Lara. So you, you basically point the controller, a little ghost Lara shows up, you put her where you want her to go, she'll warp there, and then you can kind of move around within that space. So it's a nice way of, of eliminating any disorientation for people who aren't used to VR. And finally, what do you think it is about Laura Croft and Tomb Raider in general that has stayed so strong for the last 20 years? Yeah, so I think that Lara is such an inspirational character, and in the late 90s or the 90s when she came out, um, you know, she stood out because she was one of the only female protagonists that was, you know, in charge of her destiny and going on these amazing global adventures, and she didn't take crap from anybody, and you know, she was just so brave and bold, and it was really wonderful. And I think that she continues 
to resonate with people because she's very much the same character. You know, in, in the reboot universe, Lara is still incredibly brave and she's still so intelligent and she can put together these ancient mysteries that no one else can and that's why she's discovering these, these ancient tombs. Um, but she has this vulnerability and she has this fear that she pushes through and I think that that's something that really resonates with people is that she's still incredibly brave but she doubts herself and she pushes through fear in order to become brave and I think that's just something that people enjoyed having these kind of flawed and textured characters that are still very aspirational and, and that's what I, I love about Lara. Awesome. And finally, when is the release date for the 20 year anniversary? October 11. It's coming out in just a few days. So yeah, Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 year celebration comes out on October 11. On the PS4, you can get everything on disc. And then uh, if you have already got the season pass for PC or Xbox One, it's a free update. Otherwise, you can choose to buy it separately. So.